This is Jim Kukrow, founder of the Author Marketing Institute, and you're listening to the Author Marketing Podcast. If you're unfamiliar with the Author Marketing Institute and this podcast, you can learn more by visiting www.authormarketinginstitute.com. We'll get to today's topic shortly, but first, have you ever attended a virtual event? We've just announced our latest, latest event called Author Marketing Live, the Virtual Book Marketing Summit. Now, you know you can be successful as an author if you just had the guidance and the motivation to help take your books to the next level. And here's your chance to cash in that ticket to, to success. We have brought together 16 of the world's most successful authors and marketers, and we ask each of them to share their most successful book selling and marketing techniques that they've used to dominate the sales charts. And the best part about this is the entire event is being held online. That's right. There's no travel. There's no flights, no hotels. It's just you attending and learning from your home or your office. Heck, you could even do it from a Starbucks. You could even watch through your tablet or your phone if you wanted. This means you can stay home and continue writing while educating yourself about how to become a more successful as an author all at the same time. Visit www.authormarketinglive to grab your seat to the event and view all the amazing speakers and topics they're going to be covering. The early bird pricing ends soon, and seats are limited, so don't wait. So with that out of the way, let's move on to today's topic. How to find your superfans with Pinterest. There's nothing quite like a superfan. It's great having readers who will read and review your books, and it's equally cool when certain folks will com comment on your blog, video, or podcast. When one person does all of that to the extreme, in addition to posting like crazy about your latest release, you might just be witnessing a super fan in action. Super fans don't just like the books they read, they devour and love them. As an author, you should do everything in your power to seek out these devoted readers. One way to hunt down fans who have no issue sharing the books they love is on Pinterest. To the casual user, Pinterest is great for seeking out recipes or wedding ideas. Superfans use Pinterest to pin links to their favorite memes, art, music, mo games, and books. When your work is included as part of a pinning frenzy, you may find Pinterest as your top referrer of traffic or email subscribers. If you're confused by Pinterest or new to the platform, here are five ways you can use the site to find new superfans. Number one, show your passions. Pinterest is not a place for neutral. It's a site where passionate people pin links to things they're passionate about. It's a collection of the best pictures that link to the highest level content online. People who love things with all their heart and don't mind sharing it are major Pinterest users. Pinterest isn't a fake it until you make it platform. You need to pin boards that you're passionate about. Create boards that show your influences as a writer. For instance, if you're a paranormal author, you might pin a board for the TV show Supernatural. On that board, you'd repin memes and links while creating several pins that link posts, link to posts about the show on your blog or podcast. Pinterest is all or nothing. Don't pin a board that doesn't reflect your passions. By showing what you love and how it influenced you, you'll find followers who might be interested enough to follow your writing somewhere down the line. Number two, create quote pictures. Some authors have collected thousands of followers by using quote pictures. These are artfully designed quotes from their favorite authors. The right quote with the right design could result in dozens of repins and exposure to new followers. You can create quote pictures in a free image tool like Canva. Simply find a royalty-free background and use a suitable quote. Place the quote into the image using an attractive font and viola. You've got your quote picture. Add the quote pictures to one of your boards. As an author, you might be inspired by dozens of quotes on the subject of writing. If TV is more of your speed, you may want to pin a board of quotes from your favorite characters. Whatever you post, make sure it's something with emotional weight behind it. If it doesn't matter much to you, then it won't matter much to your potential followers. Number three, share your research. Researching large and detailed story worlds has become much easier with Pinterest. You can use the site to search for inspiration on setting, time period, and style. When you find a post that helps you in your writing journey, you can repin it to a board related to your research. 
Creating a research board gives your followers the chance to go deeper into the world of your story. By seeing how you came up with your, with your ideas, followers forge a deeper connection with the world you've created. Thriller author J.F. Penn shares the research boards on Pinterest in a call to action at the back of her books. This gives readers who are interested in their time in the book a chance to dig deeper. While not all readers will search through JS boards, some will be interested enough to follow the board and repin its posts. The more people invested in the board, the more likely it is that the new Pinterest users will find and follow her work. As you open your process up to your readers, they'll feel more like insiders who want to promote your work. Number four, create a board for your books. Once you've shared your passions, quotes, and research, it's time to start sharing your books as well. Create one board or several boards representing your work as an author. Within each post, you can link to your books on sale at Amazon or to blog posts or podcasts in which you've discussed the work. You can also repin posts that other users have made about your work. Notice that your book boards make up less than half of your total number of boards. In many cases, they may only show up as two out of 10 to 30 boards you've got posted. This is because Pinterest is about finding fans to follow you, not about direct selling. You, you want to make it as easy as you can for people who want your books to find them, but you don't want to push away the people who are just getting to know you. That's why selling shouldn't be your top priority on Pinterest. Keep an eye on which pins on your book board seem to get the most attention. Find similar pins or create them on your own through Canva and your blog. Number five, use calls to action. When you do a post about your book, calls to action make it easier for superfans to connect with you. A call to action is a clear request for a person to do something with your link. If you want a reader to click through and buy something, then you should tell them to do so. Don't force the issue with all caps and 100 hashtags. A simple click here to get the book today will do. You can use calls to action throughout your boards to ask readers to follow you or repin your posts. Just like with selling books, you don't want to overdo it. Ask your followers to do something every so often, and you'll be surprised at how often they respond. Super fans are for life. Pinterest can take several months to a year to obtain a few hundred followers. Even then, it requires upkeep to make sure your followers stay interested. It may seem like a waste of time to try, but it's one of the best ways to find devoted readers. Pointing a few superfans in the direction of your work may be worth the time you put in. Even if it's not, Pinterest can be used to inspire both you and your potential readers. You'll need to work hard to obtain success, but if you do, you're bound to find multiple word-spreading word superfans from your efforts. And that will conclude today's podcast. To see a transcript of the show and to access other book marketing content, please visit www.authormarketinginstitute.com. You can also learn about our latest events for authors or get access to our Author Marketing Academy Learning Center. And of course, you might want to become a member of the Author Marketing Club, a 25,000 plus author member community. That's www.authormarketinginstitute.com. All right, let's wrap it up for today. I'm Jim Kukrell, founder of the Author Marketing Institute, and we'll be, we'll be back again for another show soon. Thanks again for listening, and don't forget to leave us a review on iTunes and share the show with your author communities. We would be grateful for your help in spreading the word. Bye for now.